Hey everybody, uh, today I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, music servers and music players. Uh, so this is our Sonic Transporter i5 uh, music server. And so typically you run something like Rune or, I mean, DLNA, there's all kinds of different, different music uh, software you can run on here. Uh, we'll, we'll probably be talking about Rune today. So this replaces your PC. Normally you would, you know, play music or digital music on your computer. And this is going to replace that. So you take this and hook it to your, uh, you know, your your switch. There we go. And then you can, um, you know, control it with your with your iPad or something like that. And uh, you know, you can get Tidal from the internet, or you can, um, you know, get local music that's that's stored on here. Uh, but the question is, how do you get it to your DAC or your, you know, your your music system. Uh, so a lot of systems out there, you know, Room Nucleus, Ari Ender, some of these various things, you just plug the DAC directly into the server. So here we have our, our USB DAC and we can plug that in. And uh, this is this is definitely going to give you better sound than you would get um, from a laptop or a uh, or you know plugging the DAC into your computer. Your computer has a lot going on. It's got a desktop. Uh, it's got um, you know it's running updates all the time. So this is this is going to give you some some pretty clean sound, uh, but this this whole part getting the music to your DAC you want to do w without putting any analog noise into your DAC. So you know as low noise as possible. So the best way to do that is with a network player. It has some other advantages too. The network player can be put in another location in your house. You know multiple network players so you can you know play to them. You can make them into zones. So I'm going to show you how that works. So this is our, um, our Ultra Rendu. It's, it's a network player. Uh, so this thing, the USB port on this is very different from the USB port on a computer. The people that you know that make these computer motherboards that we use in this server, they're thinking you're going to plug a mouse or a keyboard or something into this thing. They're not making these USB ports low noise. What we've done on this is made pretty much the world's lowest noise USB port and also the most accurate. So we use the most accurate clock to clock the USB signal that we could find and then we also use some tiny uh, very very low noise linear power supplies to power the clock, to power all the circuitry that runs this, this port and also to send 5 volts out of this um, jack. Now you may think hey my USB DAC uh, has its own power supply, it probably doesn't use the 5 volts from the USB. Most DACs do. They use it to power the digital part of the DAC and then they use the uh, the power supply that you connect to it to run the analog part of the deck. So it's very, very important to have a really good, good USB port. Uh, so here we're gonna we're gonna plug our deck into this uh, this Ultra Rendu here. So now another great thing we got going on here is what we call uh, galvanic isolation. Uh, Ethernet is great because it actually provides an air gap for your digital signals. So the digital signal is coming from the server, and when it goes into this cable right before the connector there's a couple of little uh, transformers. And what that is, it's a little air gap and only the ethernet signal can kind of cross that, that gap. So you're taking some noise that is generated in this computer and you're filtering it out before it goes into this cable. Now in this case, we're going into our ethernet switch. Uh, there's another a little air gap there. We're going back out of the ethernet switch, another air gap, and then you know we're going into our, into our ultra window. So you've really, um, you know, any kind of like DC, obviously that's going to completely filter any DC that's going through. Any really low frequency noise is going to be completely filtered out. Um, so you're, you know, you're, you're getting an, an air gap filter here. So you've got really the best of everything. You've got the best clock, you've got the best power supplies, and then you're using the network to isolate this so that you're not getting any noise for your server. So that's our sort of server uh, player architecture for uh, you know music playback it looks really great you know you're trying to get the best sound out of your out of your DAC and you just don't want to add any noise to it